Hi and welcome everyone to this lesson about uh, charge controllers or how can we size a charge controller in a BV system. So first if we remember our off-grid system which is a BV system not connected to the electrical power grid. So we have our solar panels that provides a certain power let's say for example 7 kilowatt. This amount of power is supplied to a charge controller that regulates the charging of our batteries. Now in this lesson we are concerned with the charge controller and we would like to understand how can we size or select a charge controller. So the first step is that we have three parameters that we would like to get. The first a rating which is a voltage rating number two the input current rating number three the output current rating so let's start by the voltage rating so first how can we select the nominal voltage of the charge controller now you have to understand that it is really really easy just to match the battery voltage with the charge controller voltage. So as an example, if I have a group of batteries that forms a 96 volt, as an example, 96 volts, so it is the operating voltage or the system voltage or the nominal voltage of the batteries. So in this case, I will select a charge controller with a nominal voltage 96 volts. Okay, if the batteries are operating at a 48 volt, I will select a charge controller with also 48 volt. Okay, so we have to make the charge controller voltage equal to the battery voltage. So that is the first part in the voltage rating. Second part is that if you look at the charge controller, it is connected to the BV system and its output is also connected to the batteries. Okay, so we talked about here the nominal voltage, uh, the output voltage should be equal to the battery voltage. Okay, what about the voltage coming from the BV system? We have to make sure, we have to make sure that the maximum voltage max voltage that the charge controller must withstand must be greater than the maximum voltage of the bv system okay so our bv system has a certain voltage under certain conditions we can reach a very high voltage this value of voltage must be lower than the maximum voltage that our charge controller must withstand. So let's understand this. So we have to make sure that the input voltage from the panels not greater than or is not greater than the maximum voltage that the charge controller must withstand. So as an example, let's start here. So let's say we have a solar panel, okay? how many solar panels let's say we are connecting a three solar panels in series okay like this they are all connected together in series so how many panels three panels now i would like to know the maximum voltage so if you remember from our lessons about solar panels we said that the maximum voltage of any panel is the open circuit voltage so open circuit voltage open circuit voltage is the maximum voltage of the panel so let's say this panel has a maximum voltage of 38 volt and this panel is also 38 this one 38 so theoretically the maximum voltage is 3 which is the 3 panels multiplied by 38 volt okay however in the worst conditions at a very very low temperature 
let's say for example 30 Fahrenheit as an example in our location so if you look at this table for uh, silicon solar panels you will find that when the temperature when the temperature starts decreasing the voltage of the panels will increase so we have to make sure that this voltage does not exceed the maximum voltage of the charge controller so let's say the worst condition when we have a very very low temperature of a 30 fahrenheit so if you go here 30 fahrenheit is between these two values okay between 31 and 23 okay so in this range you will find that we have a factor 1.12 is this factor so our voltage will increase by 1.12 so we take this three uh, panel voltages and multiply it by the factor 1.12 as you can see here so now we can get the maximum voltage or maximum open circuit voltage at the worst conditions which is 127.68 volt okay so let's delete all of this so let's say for example i selected a charge controller with a maximum voltage bv maximum voltage okay of 150 volt so you can see that this voltage is lower than the rated voltage of the charge controller so we can use this charge controller however if we use a charge controller of 100 volt it will lead to over voltage condition which may damage our charge controller so we have to make sure that our rating is higher than the worst condition okay so now we talked about first we talked about the voltage rating now let's talk about the input current and output current so the input current of the charge controller the maximum entering current to the charge controller is first the short circuit current this is the worst current coming from the bv panel highest value of current so we take the short circuit current and multiply it by number of parallel strings why because each string provides this short circuit current so let's say we have five strings in parallel so each one will provide the short circuit current so all of this will be combined together so we have for example here we have five parallel strings each one contributes with the short circuit current let's say eight ampere okay so from here we have the highest input current then we add a safety factor of 1.25 or 1.3 okay as you would like so from here you will get the highest input current or the rating of the charge controller according to the input current so as an example if you look at the ratings of a bv panel you can see here the open circuit voltage which i talked about in the previous slide 22.1 volt and you can see maximum power 135 135 watt with the power tolerance that we discussed before and you can see here the uh, short circuit current you can see short circuit current okay so this is the value i am looking for okay now let's say for example i have a string have one two three three strings connected in parallel and we have each one contributes with a 8.37 ampere short circuit current so in this case the input current or the highest current that will enter the charge controller in the worst conditions is 8.37 multiplied by number of parallel strings one two three multiplied by a safety factor 1.25 or 1.3 so you'll get this amount of current okay so what is this value of current this is a current or the input current rating okay maximum current entering the charge controller then we will discuss the last uh, component or the last rating which is the output current 
okay so how can we select the output current this is a current which we will use to charge our batteries so simply to get the output charging current you will find many many methods um, different methods and different uh, articles about the charging current however this is the easiest method and the practical method okay so what are you going to do you will get the bv maximum power bv maximum power and divide it by the battery nominal voltage so let's say for example your own bv panels or bv system provides a 7 kilowatt peak okay so you take the 7 kilowatt peak and divide it by the battery nominal voltage for example our battery is operating at 96 volt okay so when you divide these two values you will get the current rating okay okay so this is the first method other method that we add a safety factor okay you can add a safety factor of 1.2 so after getting this value you can multiply by 1.2 however i don't do this i simply divide the power by the battery and this is enough for me any other safety factor not important for me so you will find that some companies use the power and divide it by the nominal voltage others take the power and divide it by the nominal voltage then multiply by a safety factor okay so it is your own choice so this will give you the maximum output amperes from the controller so here is an example to help you understand what we have said in the previous slide so if you look here we have a maximum power point tracking solar charge controller so as you know we have two types the pulse width modulation and the maximum power point tracking in my opinion you have to use the maximum power point tracking don't use the pulse width modulation the pulse width modulation is really bad why because it causes lots of losses it has a losses of approximately uh, 30 percent so i don't advise using this type of charge controllers i suggest that you use the maximum power point tracking okay so if you look here you can find that this uh, charge controller have a 96 volt 80 ampere what does this mean 96 volt is a nominal voltage which is similar to what similar to the battery voltage okay so this is the operating voltage which is equal to the battery voltage okay then we have maximum bv power this is the power coming from the panels and you can see that here we have 80 amperes what does the 80 amperes mean this means the rated current of the charge controller or the output charging current okay that's why this element is really really important so when you look at a charge controller and you see 80 ampere or 40 ampere what does this mean it means the rated output charging current okay and you can see here the next element that we discussed before is the maximum bv voltage 250 volt so you can see that 96 it is the operating voltage which is equal to the battery voltage okay however the maximum bv voltage it is the maximum value of the photovoltaic voltage entering the charge controller okay so we have this is the rated or maximum value of the charge controller the maximum value of voltage coming from the panels that the charge controller can withstand okay so we have to make sure that the open circuit voltage okay with the safety factor according to the temperature must be lower than 250 volt okay it is really really important okay so here you can see that for example if we apply our method output charging current okay is equal to the power divided by the nominal voltage so if we take 1500 watt which is the power of the pv panel divided by the 96 you will see that we have 88.5 which is close to 80 ampere 
okay pretty pretty close okay i would like you to remember these two values okay so we have 88.5 a little bit higher than 80 ampere okay assuming that our system will never reach this value or never reach this amount of power okay now let's see another this is one of the companies that selected the pv panels or the charge controllers uh, with these values okay let's see another one this is another company you can see seven kilowatt okay the previous one eight thousand five hundred watt or eight point five kilowatt okay look at the values 96 and 80 if you look at this one 96 and also 80 so nothing changed it however this is a company and this is another company okay they selected the same values of the charge control despite the difference in power so if you do our calculations if we take 7 kilowatt which is a bv wattage divided by 96 you will get 80 amperes as you can see here 7000 divided by 96 you will get 72.9 which is uh, close to the closest value is 80 ampere okay so you can see that one of the companies 7 kilowatt with these values this rated current is higher than the required okay which is much much better however the first one here is not so great okay 80 amperes is lower than 88.5 okay okay now before we end this uh, lesson you will find that when we sized our charge controller in our course for solar energy you will find that we had a uh, seven point uh, here seven point six eight kilowatt okay the power required uh, power coming from the pv panel and divided by the nominal voltage the 96 volt we obtained 80 ampere okay which is similar to this one so the direct method take the pv power divide it by the nominal battery voltage okay so it will give you the rated current that you will always see on the charge controller okay so in this lesson we discussed how can you size a charge controller